Hi, I'm Snail, and this is how I made my first online multiplayer game. So a couple of weeks ago, I decided to experiment in making online multiplayer games. So I started out by getting the core mechanics of my game. I created a rectangle with a simple movement script and a platform. But I realized that this was super basic and that rectangles are pretty stupid. So I made a circle instead and got rolling. <laughs> For the player's movement, I added torque or a rotational force to the circle. This gave the movement a really unique feel because you had to adjust your spin to stop yourself and there's no control in the air. But this made jumping between platforms pretty hard. So I added a boost that could be used to slow yourself down or speed yourself up. The next core mechanic was events. The idea was that while the game was going on, there would be randomly spawned and chosen events. I started by outlining five. The one I would be focusing on would be the two flag event. This was the simplest one and I already had ideas to implement it. The event would basically be a race to get to the flag and the first one there would receive a point. I'll explain those later. So I got it working flawlessly on the first attempt and I, oh. The way I implemented the spawning of the flag was by setting two points as a minimum and maximum value for the X and the Y, and the flag would keep being spawned and destroyed until it found a spot that worked. I was able to get the flag to spawn on the platform, but sometimes it would be embedded in the ground. So to fix this, I, I gave up and came back two days later. But with a fresh mind, I found the simplest solution, and I feel like an idiot for not thinking of it sooner. Instead of continuously spawning the flag to find a platform, the flag found a platform first and then spawned at a random position on the platform. This became the backbone of all the other spawning done in the game. So now that the flag could be spawned, I added points to the game. The way that the player would win is by reaching a certain number of points that the host sets. To show the points on the screen, I added some UI elements. And now that that was done, I created some art for the flag. I created this sprite and made a simple animation for it. I know the text gradient is terrible, but that's the best I can do. I'll probably change it later. The last step before implementing multiplayer was items slash power-ups. The main gameplay of the game was meant to be completing events, but I found that having it as a fighting game like Smash Bros or Brawlhalla was much more fun, and the events would be layered on top of that to add more depth. So I added simple objects that spawned with randomly selected power. I also added knockback on collisions based on the difference in the player's two velocities. This system was a little bit tricky, but eventually I got it working. And the last step was to add multiplayer. I did this by using Photon and a tutorial of my Blackthorn prod. And finally, after a couple weeks, I had a multiplayer game up and running. Overall, this experience taught me so much, and I may even begin to focus more on this project as I think the idea is much more original than my 10 minute game. Well, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one.